Robinhood met with Second 16 times before Wells notice, CEO Vlad Tenev says. Julius Smith last updated, May 9, 2024, 1345 EDT 2 minute read. Robinhood and its CEO Vlad Tenev met with the United States Securities and Exchange Commission second 16 times before the commission sent the crypto company a Wells notice, the CEO revealed in a Wednesday interview with CNBC. We actually came in good faith to meet with the second. I think we met with them 16 times and unfortunately, that was not reciprocated, Tenev, told CNBC Kate Rooney. Second, Robin had met 16 times before Wells' notice. The federal regulator filed a Wells' notice on May 4, with court documents showing the commission made a preliminary determination to recommend that the second file an enforcement action against RHC alleging violations of Sections 15 and 17 of the Securities Exchange Act of 1934, as amended. While no explicit enforcement action was revealed, Saturday's court filing presupposes it could be either a civil injunctive action, public administrative proceeding and slash or a cease and desist proceeding. Robinhood's successful cone earnings surpass expectations. News of Tenev's follows the release of Robinhood's first quarter earnings estimates, which showed the company earning a whopping $329 million, over $70 million more than the expected $255 million. We delivered significant revenue growth and margin expansion in Cone as we remain focused on driving another year of profitable growth in 2024, said Jason Warnick, Chief Financial Officer of Robinhood. In Cone we set records for quarterly revenues, net income, and apps even as we stepped up our marketing and growth investments. During a Wednesday afternoon conference call discussing the earnings, Tenev called the Wells notice a disappointing development. The second has long been criticized for its stringent stance on digital agists and regulation by enforcement approach. Several key players in the crypto industry have been hit with legislation from the federal agency. Meanwhile, questions have swirled over the second's classification of digital assets given the lack of a crypto regulatory framework. We firmly believe that the assets listed on our platform are not securities and we look forward to engaging with the second to make clear just how weak any case against Robinhood crypto would be on both the facts and the law, Robinhood Chief Legal Compliance and Corporate Officer Dan Gallagher said in a Monday statement. If Tenev's claims are verifiable, Robinhood's meetings with the second may signify its dismissal of crypto firms looking to comply with federal regulation amidst a broader crackdown on the digital asset industry. Follow us on Google News.